Greetings, Leo. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 8th of April through the 14th. I've already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's get straight into your love reading. What's going on with you? First card out of the deck. All right. Let's see what's at the bottom. The devil. So basically, you've been dealing with something quite turbulent, something quite heavy, to say the least. All right. And the way that this situation is being dealt with, it's being dealt with inadequately. So what I mean by this is that what is being formed and what, what, what the, the energy that is being projected onto the matter is bound to not get too far. All right. Leo, this seems as if you have some sort of realization. I think you know this. You know, you know what it is that I'm talking about. You may be aware of this and you may still continue to, to take the same action, the inadequate action. I see this element of stagnancy, guys. I see an element of stagnancy. I see this element of, of just hindrance of not taking action. And guys, we can always take matters into our hands. I often hear and often read the comments and, oh no, it's their duty to do this. And there's, you know what? There's nothing greater than taking ownership of your own life. Okay. Even if you're in a relationship and shit hits the fan, things are not good. You can always take ownership of the situation. Even if they are the wrong ones, you could step up and be the bigger individual always. Okay. But I don't see anyone doing this. All right, I see the contrary, whomever it is that I'm tuning in with. And you know what? After all, in the subconscious, I'm seeing the Five of Swords, ladies and gents. The Five of Swords is absolute defeat. So you may, in fact, be in some very heavy emotions. You might have undergone something disastrous, something catastrophic, and your own feelings are consuming you. Your own feelings are skewing your own perception, hindering you of taking appropriate actions to rectify this. What happened in the past? Grievance. I'm telling you, this devil energy is just written all over this reading. You've been dealing with this shit for some time, Leo. All right. This, this energy is just leaking into the future and it's only transforming into something else even more gross. All right. Even more heavy, even more depressive. That's what I see going on flat out. All right. I'm not, I'm not trying to make you feel bad or anything. I'm not, I'm here to help you. I'm here to bring you clarity and hopefully, you know, Bring you some sense of guidance to rectifying the situation. So let's go with the flow and um, let's see what message wants to come forth for you. Now, I see you thinking about cooperation. I see you thinking about coming together and working together. Or maybe the individual that you're dealing with is presenting the opportunity for that. And if they're not, it's in your mind. I see it. I see it. All right. However, are your actions aligned with it? Things are bound to get better, though. All right, things are bound to get better. This element of stagnancy of you being stuck in this in this fucking energy is something that you're going to overcome. All right, and it's something that you're doing incrementally. It's something that you're doing with baby steps. You're not just jumping into the situation as, you know, Casanova and saving the day. No, you're more so just, I don't want to say bread crumb crumbing it, but you're just giving into it incrementally, little by little, little by little. And you know what? That, that is sometimes what's required, you know, just taking your time and rectifying the situation. Now, whomever it is that you're dealing with is appearing as a death. The death is a transformative energy, and this can mean two things, one of two things. This can mean transforming the situation for the better or transforming it by bringing an ending to it. All right. What are you desirous of? The lovers. Go figure. All right. I did say that I see in your mind, you're wanting cooperation, you're wanting collaboration, you're wanting teamwork, you're wanting to come together with someone and work on the situation. And when I look into your desires, the lovers, you're wanting a connection that is beyond the superficial. You're wanting a, a profound connection, something that fulfills you emotionally, mentally, physically, of course, as well, right? Spiritually, so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> look, your wish, your desire of attaining the lover's energy with this current situation is a potential. All right, you just have to work through this phase of the devil. You see, you work through the phase of the devil, right? The devil is, is the darkness. It's the hindrance of your own self. It's the ego that is, that is not allowing you to be vulnerable, that is not allowing you to express yourself authentically, um, that is skewing your own perception, that is drowning you with these sorrowful emotions on and on it's the darkness we can say right you work through the card number 15 one through five one plus five equals six the lovers 
All right, and the lovers is harmony. So what's on the other side of this darkness is harmony, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's what's on the other side of that. And keep that in mind, is that life fluctuates. It goes up and down. It goes up and down, Leo. And right now you may be down, but you're bound to go back up when it comes to this, all right, when it comes to your love life. So by realizing this flow or this law of nature, this establishment by nature of fluctuation, just deal with the moment. It sucks. You're in a shitty phase. Big deal. It's going to be over sooner than later. All right. So long you align yourself with this, with this higher potential. Why is the six of wands, or rather the seven of wands in the outcome? Why is the seven of wands in the outcome? Determination. Determination. The magician as well. The magician is here. So look, there's an element of determination to fix this. Okay, despite the atrocity or this frictional energy that I'm seeing, however minuscule or grand it is, it's frictional. Okay, it's frictional, yet there's a determination to rectify it. That is what I'm seeing here. So, Leo, you are quite fond of someone. You are very fond of someone, and it seems that someone is fond of you. Someone is, in fact, this individual may be more determined to fix this situation than you are. All right, but it's not about that. It's not about who loves who more, who puts more effort. No, guys, it's not about that. It's not a fucking competition here, right? You're trying to come together. This is love. This is, you know, attraction, magnetism. This is a proton coming up. This is a, an example that I, I have my own explanation for what love is, and it has nothing to do with these romantic human perceptions of what love is. It's, it's actually quite scientific. And I'll explain it one day, but you can understand it through the magnetism seen through a proton, which is positive, masculine, and the electron, which is negative and feminine. You see, though that, that essence of these atomic particles coming together is what love is. All right, it's not all these, oh, this is someone that's reliable, and this is, no, it's not. It's fucking attraction. This is magnetic attraction. It's this divine essence that brings you know, opposites together. It's something that cannot be denied. It's something that is beyond our, our control, essentially, to, to a degree, right? But you, we must accept that someone can walk around our proximity, someone can enter our proximity, and we are just, you know, involuntarily attracted to them. That is love. But no, you're going to say, no, that's not love. Love is when, when, uh, when they're there to support you during hard times, when, you know, you have someone to lean on. That's what love is. You see, we got innumerable definitions for love. Love just makes absolute greater sense when you look at it pragmatically and factual, all right, in a factual sense. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> moving along, moving along, moving along. I'm seeing determination. I'm seeing determination to fix something, to shine light upon a dark situation. What is in it? any piece of advice for Leo when it comes to this situation? Wow. Leo, look. The Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. With the Fool at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is your advice. <clears throat> is to take that leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want a relationship with this individual? This is my question to you. Answer it yourself. Do you want a relationship with this individual? Do you want to establish something you know, founded or grounded rather with this person, something committal, an established relationship. It doesn't have to be marriage as in going in, into the courtroom and signing, you know, marriage documents, but between two people, do you want that mutual understanding of an established relationship with this individual? If your answer is yes, then communicate it, express it. Do not shy from it. Do not refrain from expressing it, communicate it effectively. I'm not, I'm not telling you to go cry your eyes out and, you know, bust a, a, a notebook. Um, you know that movie, The Notebook? It's, it's emotional and shit is what I'm saying. There's no need for that. You can speak effectively. You could sit down, all right? You could be political about it and say, hey, look, these are my feelings. These are some genuine feelings that I have for you. I have some serious interest in you and, and I want to take this relationship seriously. Okay? I want to know how you feel. What is your intention? Do you want to fix this? Do you want to just cut this off? I want to know because I take my time seriously. And I want to take you seriously. And I want you in my life. But, but if you don't feel the same, then we know what must happen. We must destroy this relationship and move on. Move on. Part ways. 
But maybe hopefully that's not the case. Let's, let's keep it notebookish. Okay? Let's keep it notebookish. Ladies and gentlemen, what I have for you, if you are wanting an established relationship, communicate it effectively. Take that leap of faith. All right? And I see you doing so because in the future, we have this established relationship. The four of wands. Go figure. All right? So, Leo, aside the atrocity and the negativity and the hindrance and the devil and all this negativity, it seems as if you're going to get your wish fulfilled. You're going to get your desire of experiencing the lovers. All right? Beautiful energy. I'm going to take this to the extended, and I'm going to dive into this individual's desires towards you. All right? The actions that they're going to take towards you. Their feelings for you. Their thoughts about you. If this was your reading, the extended will be in the description. All right? In the link, in the link located in the description. Otherwise, Leo, it seems as if you have... Uh, a potential romance, okay? A potential potent romance, all right? And the message for you was to express yourself. If you got true, authentic interest in this individual, true feelings, do not shy from expressing it. Express it effectively. I'll see you in the extended, or I'll see you around.